Okay, uh, first of all, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's get started, okay? Uh, one reminder, uh, we will have exam one uh, this Friday, okay? It's one hour exam. If you can attend the exam. So you should let me know uh, in advance, okay? So we need to arrange your, I mean, make up uh, exam probably. I, I already received one request, actually two requests, right? Yeah. So we, we will arrange your, I mean, your exam, okay? So please let me know, I mean, before Wednesday, okay? If you cannot uh, attend the exam in class, okay? So, I mean, still, I, I, I only say like for 41 uh, people, right? I mean, at least uh, we are missing 10 people, you know. So if you know anyone is missing and uh, uh, let them know, okay, we'll have an exam, okay? Uh, so let's get started, okay? So, okay, uh, CSTR in series. Uh, in last, okay, a lot of people here. In <clears throat> last lecture, we talked about CSTR in, uh, in series, right? So we mentioned that if you have infinite CSTR connected in series, so it becomes a PFR. So what the exact happens, you know? No, let's take a look at this. Oh, sorry, let me admit. Yeah, I think uh, especially for the online meeting, like, I mean, you should attend on time. Otherwise I need to wait for at least five minutes, you know, admit more people in. You know. yeah. Can you please mute yourself? Okay. Okay. So, so what happens, okay, in NCSTR in series? So let's take a look, okay? For example, you only have one CSTR. So what kind, what, what kind of concentration profile, right, in your, in your CSTR? So you have CA in, right, this is a reactant in, and it immediately decreases to the lowest concentration, that's out. Right, that means that's only for the only one CSTR, right? So for example, now you have five CSTR in series. So then what will happen, right? So for the first reactor, for the first CSTR, for the first CSTR, right? So it drops to here. Second. Let me admit the student here. So for the, this for the first one, okay, it's here. And then drop to the second, third, fourth, five. Now you can see, right? <clears throat> so degrading, degradation rate decreases, right? Not abruptly decrease to the lowest one, right? It's a, a step by step, right? And then, for example, now you have, 30 or more than 30 CSTR. Then you will see you have more steps, right? So concentration decreases step by step, then you have more steps. So if you have infinite CSTR in series, so then you will see it becomes the dash line. It becomes the dash line. So this dash line actually the gradual decrease of the concentration in the PFR, right? Then you can say, right, in the in the in the schematic, you can understand, right? If you have infinite in series, eventually the, the concentration profile is similar to that in a PFR. 
right? So this can also can can tell you, you no, know, to why if you have n uh, equal size CSTR in series, right? Then your uh, reaction profile becomes a PFR, okay? So here uh, we can we can also take a look, you know, uh, compare. Okay, let's compare the CSTR and uh, uh, PFR. Okay, so this is a, <clears throat> so this is a the y axis. So y axis is the space time ratio, or you can assume it's a size ratio, the same thing. Okay, and uh, the y axis y axis is the conversion, is the conversion, okay? This Y, it's the size ratio, okay? Or space-time ratio, you know, same thing, right? This is a conversion, right? It's a conversion, X, X axis is a conversion. So let's take a look, okay, what does this uh, uh, figure mean, okay? <clears throat> so, <coughs> because, Let's assume, okay, uh, it's the uh, first order reaction, right? First order, okay, and uh, uh, liquid phase, okay? So let's see, okay, uh, uh, for example, now you have uh, uh, one CSTR, so N equal to one, N equal to one, okay? And uh, then you can see, okay, so this is a one minus X, okay? So one minus X, that means if the conversion increases, right? The conversion increases. So this is a decreases. So we need to take a look at this way, you know. This actually means the increase of your conversion, okay? So we can take a look. Okay, this is actually tau k. This is we call the R parameter, right? So you can take a look, okay? N equal to one. So this is a solid, solid line, solid line, right? And with the conversion increases, so this is actually tau N, this is a CSTR, right? This is PFR. So you can see the ratio increases. The ratio increases. That means, you know, <coughs> that means as the conversion increases, right? This also increases. That means you need more CSTR uh, reactive volume to, to achieve the same conversion to, to achieve the same conversion, right? Especially, especially, you know, when the dog parameter is, especially, you know, when the DA, you know, is large, right? That's, you can say the, the dashed line, right? The dashed line. Dashed line means the, the dog parameter. However, when you increase, when you increase actually the n number. So for example, now you have infinite. So eventually you will see actually, eventually you will see. So the CSTR instead and the PFR, they can perform similarly, right? It's one, the ratio is one. You can see the ratio becomes one. Otherwise the ratio is very large, right? You see here is almost uh, uh, let's see, it's almost uh, 20, 28, you know, for example, this is 28, you know. So that's only for one CSTR. When you increase the CSTR, you can see the ratio decreases, decreases, right? So that means uh, the CSTR performs uh, or approaching the performance of the PFR with more CSTR in series, okay? So, you will see this kind of uh, schematic in some literature or in the book, you know, you should understand what does it mean, okay? What, what does it mean, right? What does it mean? So 
sometimes they have like a solid line and a dashed line, you know, in the take look, okay, what does it mean, okay? So, I mean, this only to review, okay, what we have learned, okay, uh, last uh, uh, lecture. Again, this figure tells you, if you have more CSTR number, okay, more CSTR number in series, then you see the ratio, this ratio becomes one, right? When N increases, so this ratio becomes one. That means uh, the CSTR in series becomes a PFR, okay? Okay, so today <coughs> we are going to finish our uh, idea reactor design, right? Idea reactor design. So the last uh, reactor, uh, plug flow, okay? So I, here uh, I want to remind you, okay, what is PFR? I, I still can hear some noise. So if you uh, forget to mute, okay, can you mute yourself? So PFR means uh, there is no uh, radio variations in velocity, concentration, temperature. As a result, the reaction rate is uniform around the uh, radio direction. Okay, that means this direction. Okay, it's called R direction, right? But around the reactor lens, the concentration changes and the reaction rate changes. Okay, this is a, a PFR. Okay, that's a PFR. So, <coughs> so to solve the PFR design equation, right? So similarly, so we will start, we will start with the more balances, okay? We will start with the more balances. So I think right now you should remember, right? What's the, what's the more balance for the PFR, right? So more, the PFR is a differentiate form, okay? So FA zero and the conversion change with time. Oh, no, with time, sorry. So FA zero, the conversion change with the length, with the length, okay? With the reactor length. So here, because the area is the same, the cross-section area is the same. So we use the volume, okay? So conversion change, I mean, wrong, the reactor length, right? That's equal to the, your reaction rate. Your reaction rate, right? In other, <coughs> in other words, you know, so here, here, that, here, it means what? In minus out, right? F A zero D X, right? And R A D V. That's what. That's generation. That's a generation, right? That's a generation. And uh, uh, we know. I mean, uh, it's a steady state, right? It's a steady state. So you can say so. In minus out equals generation. That's the more balance, right? More balance. So, <coughs> so if no pressure drop, that's very important, okay? If no pressure drop, then we can integrate it. Otherwise, you cannot. Why you cannot? Because uh, otherwise, you know, the V, actually the V, Okay, uh, especially the uh, X, you know, uh, it changes with your, uh, it changes with your pressure, right? The conversion changes with the pressure. So you cannot actually integrate it. Uh, you cannot integrate it, you know. So you have to use the differential uh, form. Uh, for, this, for this case, okay, if you have pressure drop, uh, we, we will talk about, we, I think I will use one lecture to talk about, but right now you need, uh, you need to uh, remember, okay? If you want to integrate these more balances, 
That means there's no pressure, no pressure drop. Okay, there's no pressure drop. Otherwise, you know, uh, the X also is a, is a function of pressure. The function of pressure, and then you cannot directly integrate it. Okay, so no, I mean no pressure drops. Integrate V, right? Integrate V F A zero A zero uh, conversion. Okay. <clears throat> now the rich law. Okay, so let's let's think about uh, two the second order action. Okay, second order action. It's a uh, elementary action. Okay, second order. Uh, because in our, I will show you one example later. It's a first order. So now let's uh, uh, take care of the more complicated case. Okay, it's second order. So. R A K K is the root constant, right? C A square, and then the stoichiometry. So why we need a stoichiometry? Because here in the in 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 okay in the design equation, if you integrate it, you need to find out this is a function of conversion. Right, <laughs> and in the root law, we already correlate R A as a function of C A. So the stoichiometry means we need to correlate the fun uh, C A as a function of a, a conversion, right? I mean, then eventually, you know, we can we can establish R A as a function of uh, conversion, and then we plug it in, right? To the, to the uh, design equation. Okay, that's the logic I emphasize again and again. So for the PFR, for the PFR, okay. So we need to pay attention. If this is a liquid or gas, because if it's a gas, then the volume will change or the volumetric fluid will change, right? I mean, according to the stoichiometry of your reaction. <coughs> so the first case, Let's say it's a liquid phase, okay? If it's a liquid phase, so we can assume the volumetric flow rate doesn't change, okay? And then CA plus the CA, one minus, one minus X, right? And that's, I mean, it's very easy, right? Then we can plug in, okay? Then we combine, okay? We combine. We combine what we have. We have V, right? X minus I, is K, C, A square, one minus. So equal to F. Right. So you can solve it. A, C, A, and uh, X. Okay, you can you can find the integration in your in your textbook, appendix A. Okay. Equal. Right. And also you can find the conversion. Oh. Uh, Okay. Right. That's we already know. Okay, this is the parameter for the first order action. Ooh, it means second order. Okay, the second order. Yes. 
this is dimensionless, dimensionless parameter. Okay, so this is for the uh, liquid phase. It's uh, pretty straightforward, right? How about the gas phase? So I think a lot of students, they, they, they get confused about the gas phase, you know. <coughs> so, so to clarify or to simplify, okay? So the gas phase, what does it mean? So the volumetric flow rate changes, you know, because uh, the, the because the stoichiometry of your reaction, right? So sometimes your uh, your gas volume increase, sometimes it decreases depending on the stoichiometry of the reaction. So again, the volume changes or the volumetric flow rate changes. Okay. So then, then you would ask, right? What's the volumetric flow rate now? Okay. We already derived. Okay. This equal to the this initial. And we need to account for the change. Okay, account for the change. So this actually what? This actually is the ratio, you know, total more, you know, total more or, or, or more rate change. Okay. So <laughs> normally, you know, you can. In our reaction, it's as a symbol and a no pressure job. So some students ask me, what does a no pressure job mean? So I mentioned again and again, right? No pressure job means the, the pressure equals to your initial pressure. And that means, right? Let me test it. So then you can use the simplified. volumetric flow rate. Okay, so now you can say, okay, now we, everything is the same as liquid phase, only is we will use this volumetric flow rate instead of the initial volumetric flow rate, right? I mean, if you know how to solve the liquid phase, I think right now you can solve the gas phase, right? So here is the real volumetric flow rate, not V0, okay? Right? So that means F A So what's F A from the stoichiometry we know F A equals F A zero uh, one minus X. This from the stoichiometry, right? So what's this? This is your C A zero. This will say a zero, right? And the plus. Now you can see only compared to liquid phase for the for the gas phase, you this you, you have this kind of denominator, right? Denominator. So we can simply if this is zero for some reaction, right? If this will, for example, so a to b. That means the, the epsilon is zero, right? Because why the delta is zero. Epsilon zero. Then then what? Then the C A. Then the C A becomes the same with the similar. Actually the same. Same to liquid the face. Right? Same to liquid. But uh, for the gas phase, it's this is a special case, right? Normally, you can also have like uh, it's uh, less than zero. Right? For, that means you have it decrease, like the, the volumetric flow rate decrease. For, for example, for this reaction, two A to produce B, and sometimes you will increase, right? So from the one A, you produce two B, right? So that's why you know, I mean. You cannot always assume epsilon is zero in a gas phase reaction, right? It depends. It depends on the uh, stoichiometry of your reaction. Okay, but again, remember this law. Okay, and then 
for the liquid phase means epsilon is zero. You can also get liquid phase, right? Remember, remember it, okay? Remember it. Okay, now we have CA as a function of conversion. So we can <coughs> plug in to the root law. And then again, to the design equation, right? And finally, we combine. We combine, we can get it. So I'm I'm not sure if you want to uh, if you want to to uh, to to calculate or you can you can calculate by yourself. Okay. Actually, you can you probably can find it in your integral actually uh, table. You know how to integrate this. So that's that's eventually we want to solve, right? So <clears throat> you can find uh, this integration in your in your textbook, okay? In your textbook, okay? And not very, I mean, difficult. You can expand it, and you can integrate, okay? So. I will just give you answer. If you don't know, okay, we can talk about it later. But you try, you can try to solve it by yourself, okay? Uh, and it doesn't affect your exam, okay? Because open book, you always can find the answer in your book, okay? The final answer is not very important, actually. I want to let you know, actually, the logic, okay? So this is the volume, <coughs> this is the volume. So that's how we solve the, I mean, solve the uh, TFR. Easy, right? I think right now, I, I think it's easy, right? We, we have again and again to demonstrate you know, how to solve the, uh, the volume. Or conversion, so it's the same thing, right? Sometimes they will ask you to solve the uh, volume if we know the conversion, okay? Or we know the volume, ask to solve the conversion. You know? So those those cases, okay? Okay. So any question so far? Any question? Okay. So if not, <coughs> if not, so that's true. Okay, uh, mute yourself. Okay, if you need to ask question, mute yourself. Okay, so let's have an example. Okay. We are continue to build the acid glycol uh, plant, okay? So today we are talking about uh, to produce acidine by cracking of acid, okay? This happens in a PFR and at high temperature, okay? It's high temperature, so for example, uh, in, in our exam, example, we, this reaction, this reaction happens at 1,000 and 100 K. Okay. And, and I still hear noise, so can you mute? I mean, with too many students, you know, I, 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 I don't want to find one by one, okay? Check your, check your audio, mute yourself, okay? So we can use symbol, okay, to express. So now this lag happens at 1,100K, okay? 
So <coughs> it asks you to produce three million pounds of acetine a year. A year. So uh, actually, that was that's actually uh, F. FB, right? It looks like this is FB. We know the FB, right? 300 million. We know the, we can calculate the more flow rates, right? For B. And uh, uh, the reaction follows an elementary rate law, okay? And the conversion of acid, eighty percent, and the pressure six atm. Temperature is I miss. Is that put one thousand and one hundred k? This reaction condition. Okay, so right now we only know aspect uh, the k, the rate constant. Okay. We know the that's only at uh, one thousand k. That means that we need to calculate the k, right? At this uh, at, at at a new uh, temperature. Then we need to know the activation energy. You know? So it tells you the activation energy, right? So when you calculate it, you need to pay attention to the unit. Some sum is the, is the metric unit, you know, right? Some is a metric unit, and some is the English uh, English unit. Okay, so you pay attention to it. Make make sure they are consistent. Okay, so that's all we know. That's all we know, and ask you to calculate the PFR volume. Okay, to achieve. To achieve eighty percent of conversion for uh, acid. Okay, so how to solve it? I mean, uh, just follow the logic. Okay, follow the logic that we just talked about. So first of all, still is the uh, more balances. Okay, still is the more. And now this is the first order reaction. Right, it's easy. So the rich law, we can reach law. Very easy, right? And the second is the stoichiometric. Uh, for the stoichiometric, so we need to pay attention here. So uh, so C A zero. This for liquid phase zero, you know, and for epsilon equal to zero. So we need to put this. Right, this is for storage matter. Then again, you know, plug in, combine together, right? Back. Let's just combine them together and see what we, we can have. So the three integrators, right? We need the integrator. They are constant, so we can take out. If you find something wrong, let me know, okay? Sometimes I made a mistake. So you can also find this, okay, in your uh, integral uh, table, or or you can try to solve by yourself. Actually, it's uh, not difficult. So I can give you some hint, okay, actually, how to solve it. For this one, right? For this one. So you need to do some uh, uh, <coughs> transformation. For example, let's see. So we 
see the actual, uh, let me see, uh, one minus x, right? We need that. Uh, uh, Right. Right. Yeah. And then, then we can uh, separate. It, okay. Then we can separate. So we have e x right, this, right, and plus capital plus one uh, x. This is time x, so we need to solve this one. Uh, how to solve this one? We can take this out. Uh, then what's next step? Next step is, uh, is uh, uh, say minus one. Minus one because I become minus x, okay, I plus one, then minus one. Okay. This part, you know, then it becomes x minus one plus x, uh, epsilon, so it becomes uh, one minus x, right? Now it becomes easy, right? You can integrate this part, right? Then finally, what do we have? Uh, finally, we can have x minus x. Okay. Uh, so, all the so finally. Uh, and then we can have uh, this is just one dot this one. Uh, this is the one. This should be right. And finally, we have uh, epsilon. So this minus, so we can use the uh, reciprocal. And uh, this is uh, minus. Uh, I think that's correct, right? Uh, yeah, I think it's correct, okay? It's correct, okay? So that means finally you can have F A zero and K C A zero. Okay, so this is the V, but right here, if you want to calculate V, what do you need to find out? What do you need to find out? I think uh, you need to find out uh, F A zero, A A zero, K, epsilon, right? These four parameters. So we are at the actual. This actually, the, uh, the problem itself uh, tells you, right? So, What's the F A zero? So do you remember, we know F B, right? So what's F B? F B equal to, from the stoichiometry, right? F A zero, and it should be delta B, right? And uh, should it be what? B over A X. So this is zero, right? This is one so equals F A zero X. So that means we can calculate F A zero from this. So, from this so we know F B, okay? You can calculate, that. FB tells you, right? We need uh, 300 million uh, pounds per year. So if I convert it, it becomes 150, 54.4 more per second. This FB X is 8%. Okay, so you can calculate it. 
almost uh, one ninety three. Okay, so that's how we have F A zero. And what else? <coughs> oh, C A. What's the what's the concentration, right? What's the concentration for C A zero? So C A zero, you can use uh, you can use what? You can use the I mean ideal gas uh, state of equation. Okay. So y a zero uh, c t zero. So y a zero this p. This is for idea gas, right? We know the p. We know the t, and we know the this is one, right? This is one. The more fraction is one. So you can calculate. Okay, you can calculate. I just tell you the. And uh, what else? What else we need to know? Okay, uh, we need to know the epsilon. Okay? We need to know the epsilon. So epsilon, you need the from the definition. Okay, epsilon. So y a zero. Y zero is one. So what's the data? Now remember the reaction is a right. So the stoichiometry, right? So one plus one minus one. So T is for the data. And then we need to calculate the K. So what's K? You do you remember we talked about K? K is from the Arrhenius equation. And this is for K. So we already know k1 as t1. t1 is 1000 k. So we want to calculate k2 as t2. t2 is 1100. And we know e8. We know e8, right? So it's easy to calculate, right? So k1 equal to k2 equal to k1. So you can calculate, right? Value actually 3.07. I think now we have everything, okay? We have everything, so then you can calculate. You can calculate the volume. You can calculate the volume. Okay? So <clears throat> that's it, you know? I mean, that's the, the volume actually. We can calculate, you know, right? So you can actually plot it after you calculate it. You know, you you can also you know the volume. So what you can you can you can you can uh, solve say a, a b and uh, c, right? You can solve say a c b c c as a function of the volume or Let's say with the length, right? So on the length, so you can calculate it, right? Say so if you know the you will know the volume, right? Also, actually, you can establish the concentration as a function of the uh, volume. Right? The same thing here, you know. This you can establish as a function of volume, right? You can plot it. You can plot plot it. So a typical, I mean, plotting. For example, the concentration. Okay, uh, instead of volume, so you can only use the length, right? Because the area is the same, cross section area is the same. So for A, <coughs> you see decreases for the PFR. It's a it's a gradual decreases, right? And then at the same time, you will see increases of B or C the concentration, right? Also, you can plot the conversion, you know, conversion will increases on the, down the length of your reactor, you no, know, right? This is a typical uh, plot for the, for the PFR, okay? So, uh, 
in in practical, right? Because you can say actually, uh, I will tell you. Okay, for example, this volume. Uh, it's volume equal to actually it's uh, two point two eight million cubic. It's very large. It's very large, right? So in practical, what they will do, you know, they will have several. I mean, uh, F R in in parallel. Okay. In parallel, for example, they have one hundred. But not in series, okay, in parallel, in parallel, okay, in parallel. So, in the PFR in parallel doesn't change the conversion, okay, doesn't change the conversion, just, just divide the, the volume equally into 100. So, this, it's the same actually with, so for example, you with, now the volume is V1, okay? V100, okay? Now your V, so V, total V is 100, VI, VI is the equal size, okay? It's the same, same conversion you can, you can achieve, okay? So instead of, I mean, single big PFR, it's always easy to make a smaller, smaller one, right? You just, you just, uh, I mean, in parallel, arrange it, right? So you can have the same, I mean, conversion, to arrange the same conversion. That's how, in practical, we do, okay, for the uh, PFR. Uh, any question? Any question? So uh, again, you know, uh, for the uh, exam, Okay, you need to review uh, chapter one to four. Of course, if you can review I maybe mean, what we have learned in the past, I mean, one week, right? For, for the batch reactor uh, CSTRPF, it will help you actually to solve the uh, exam one. And if you look back, okay, I think uh, the, the exam one, it should be uh, very easy, you know, because we already learned beyond the exam one, you know? <laughs> I think it should be easy for you, you know, right? So you need to start to prepare for the exam, okay? Start to uh, prepare for it. So I think I will stop here, you know. Uh, on Thursday, uh, I, I will have additional uh, office time. So you can stop if you have any questions for exam one, okay? At the same time, Hey, also has office time on Thursday. I think she, uh, he is in office. I, I will just meet online because uh, I, I'm concerned because I, I think I couldn't be recovered from the cold, okay, cold virus. So I'll just meet online, okay? So you can drop me email or we meet on Thursday. Okay, uh, hopefully I think I will see you in person on Wednesday. Okay, I will try my best. I, I will. Okay. Yeah.